Hi everyone, this is uh, Night Warrior uh, 82. I just want to do a really inter uh, interesting video about reality, false reality, and diff and also uh, real reality. The majority of the thing that I've learned that I've lived in, and one of the things that a lot of people live in, is that we were born were born into this earth. And I put, I guess I put, I put Doctor Strange on here, because there is people, as in principalities, powers, miss doing kind of like the adjustment bureau in a way. Um, there's a lot of these movies that come out that talk about fixing a reality, putting a reality in place claiming they're trying to do something well for humanity but in actuality these are all principality and powers working against God's children messing with God's children putting them in an area where they don't need to be uh, I've experienced a lot of false realities throughout my whole life a lot of delusions and illusions and false things and then I realize and I find out later in life that we're gonna be going into um, different type of video game formats and I decided I'm not gonna play anymore video games since they're going to be making virtual reality that kind of reminiscence to all these cra these wild movies like uh, Lawnmower Man. I saw that movie. I haven't seen that movie in a long time and I saw I haven't seen that movie since I was like a grade schooler little boy. And it scared me really much <laughs> back as a child. When I looked at it, it just really tripped out. It's not scary to me anymore. But I'll tell you one thing's for sure about this movie if anyone knows this from what I'm learning what God showed me it has something to do with alchemy alchemy and magic and all that stuff so yeah um, I just realized and the only way you can break free from a reality is to know where if you're well if you serve God he will break you free from any false reality the principality powers will put you in he'll get you out of that muck and mire and the quicksand that these creatures are throwing at you God will rescue you from it just ask him cry out to him through his son's name Jesus Christ that is and I just want to let you know one more thing if, if I can remember um, what was it father um, sometimes uh, when God revealed to me about something I'm trying I'm still trying to figure out if this is what he told me um, I found that someone might be my mother my real mother my biological mother but I could also think that this might be I don't know if this is coming from my Lord I hope it's coming from my Lord telling me that's true because I have been misled by evil spirits before and they're very tricky and very sneaky these spirits and they'll try to throw it out they'll mimic a voice they'll make you think because if you hear any other voices everybody um, besides God's that's not God's voice a second voice and multiple voices that is not coming from God you're only supposed to hear just his voice and his voice only and that's another thing. I'm still trying to figure out something about some stuff. But it's okay. I mean, I'm still finding out and I'm still sticking with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ all the way to the end and all the way to a new beginning. And that's how a lot of us Christians are going to do. And I'm just letting you know that don't let these principality and powers put you in a bad, false reality because they do it. And we're already going to go into virtual reality. That's going to be even worse. People going to get into that stuff. And the warning is just don't just discerning of spirits that's the encouragement but the warning is get away from these spirits that are telling you something new age stuff doesn't help either because they're gonna mess with your mind even more if you're into that sort of